This video will describe how to set up your computer to view the three self-paced tutorials that describe how to create your initial unit files. So let's get started. I will assume that you have a browser such as Internet Explorer or Google Chrome open since you're watching this video. In this video I'm using Google Chrome but feel free to use the browser you're most comfortable with. You can pause the video at any time by clicking anywhere on the video or clicking the pause button in the lower left hand corner of the video screen. The first thing we will do is to download the templates and the Excel application to your desktops. In your browser I will assume you're looking at the Seams Summer 2014 wiki page, but if you aren't, you can get there by entering the wiki page address as noted at the top of the screen. Now click on the link on the left labeled Unit File Generator. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the down arrow to download the Templates 2014 zip file. Windows Explorer should open as you see here and you should see the Templates 2014 folder. Right click on the folder and click Copy. Now navigate back to your desktop. A quick way to do that is go to the lower right hand corner of your screen. There's a small opaque box. Just click on that box. Right click on your desktop and click Paste. You should now have a folder on your desktop labeled tw Templates 2014. If not, you might repeat this procedure. Now, double click on the Templates 2014 folder and then double click on the file labeled 3J Seams Unit File Generator version 30. Once the workbook opens, you may have to enable it for editing. Click on the Enable button. And then you'll want, to ma you'll want to maximize the workbook. You may also have to enable the content. And the purpose here is there's uh, several macros inside this workbook. And Windows is trying to um, enable, uh, protect you from any viruses. This is it's not a virus, so just click on Enable Content. So now that you have it uh, maximized, the next step is to open the tutorial that you will be viewing in full screen mode. To do this, click on the small box on the lower right hand side of the video. Now let's open the video first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, Google Chrome. I'm going to select the second video, part two here. and what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize this in full screen mode here. And you can begin playing the video by simply clicking on or clicking on the, the um, play button here in the middle of the screen. To pause the playing, you can just click on the screen and it will, it will pause the video. And you can pause the video at any, any time. Um, now let's talk about improving the video resolution. One of the issues that you may have is some of the text may be a bit blurred. Down here on the toolbar at the bottom there is uh, something called settings. It looks like a gear. Click on that. Click on the quality button and make sure that the quality is set at the highest level. The problem you may run into if you set it too high the streaming may pause periodically so your video will appear kind of jerky. So you may have to select a lower uh, screen quality to get it to play more smoothly. Another option I want to show you is the speed of playback. Normally it is set at normal but if you want to play it slower you can uh, use 0.25 or 0.5. If you want to play it faster you can 
use 1.5 or 2, depending on how uh, quickly uh, you want to move through the video. Lastly, uh, an alternative to using this method of viewing your videos um, would be to use a smart device. Um, oh, one of the things I forgot to mention is you can toggle back and forth between the video, the tutorial, and the unit file generator by holding your alternate key down and press tab. And what that allows you to do is just toggle back and forth. Notice you have a number of application or applications on the screen here. You have the desktop and so on. But what it'll do is it will allow you to toggle back and forth to use the unit file generator or listen to the video. Again, what I would recommend is you play the unit uh, file generator tutorial to a point where you want to go investigate, stop it, and then toggle over to the to the unit file generator. What I started to say earlier, an alternative using uh, this method of viewing tutorials would be to use a smart device such as a tablet to, do, to view the video and use your computer to run the unit file generator. This works well and if you have access to a tablet you might give it a try. So you should be ready now to watch the tutorials. If you have any questions regarding the tutorials you might contact your SEAMS coach. For technical issues concerning the videos or unit file content file generator contact me Jack Broering at jack.broering at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.